Nick Kroll. And I'm John Mullaney. And Yes, yes, thank you. And we are so excited to be hosting the 2018 Film Independent Spirit Awards. We are coming to you live from a freezing cold tent on the beach. Mm -hmm. This is the only award show where your UberX driver is nervous to drop you off at it. This here, man? Yeah, this, it's right there. I just run across the highway. Okay, it's fine, man, it's fine. You. The Independent Spirit Awards, where the dress code is get dressed. Yes. The independent spirits. Independent spirit sounds like the way you would compliment someone who's kind of hard to compliment. You know, you're like, she's got a really independent spirit. It sounds like something from the eulogy of a drug addict. You know, he was a really independent spirit. If you told him not to do something, he'd do it. And that's a big reason why we're here. Yeah. Hey, real quick, uh, there's a joke we want to do later, uh, and we don't want to give it away, but we just need to know from IFC, are we allowed to say cum peach? We know? Okay, what if we said that there was a, a certain type of stone fruit that is filled to the brim with ejaculate? Is that okay? Yeah. Independent film. Now, what do we mean when we say film? Well, in many ways, we mean movies. Mm -hmm. I like to movie. I, I like to mo I like to movie movie. I like to movie movie. We, we like, like to movie movie. movie. You, you like, like to. Hey. Oh my God, that was so good. Whoa, you guys are great. That went great. <laughs> you guys are really fun. Yeah, let's have some fun. Hey, you know who's having a lot of fun? Who's it's that? Francis McDormand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie McD! Hey, hey, hey Freddie! Hey. All right, Cowabunga, baby! Francis McDormand is nominated for three billboards outside of Missouri, and... Francis McDormand, you are no bullshit. You are great. I bet a fun way to commit suicide would be to cut in front of her in line and then go, hey, lady, relax. <laughs> uh. Speaking of women who take no bullshit, there is some stuff we feel we should address. What a year! Bye bye. Last year, everyone famous died. This year, everyone famous wishes they were dead. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the rules have changed for men. Some guys are like, what, I can't hug a woman anymore? Not the way you're doing it, pal. All low and breathy, like, hey, it's 1998 somewhere, baby. Uh, let's name some names. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Harvey Weinstein. Uh, this is a true story. I met Harvey Weinstein once. This was in 2015 for a meeting. Mm -hmm. And he was complaining to me in the meeting that Weinstein TV took up too much of his time. Yeah. And he said, and I quote, Yeah, no one's gonna remember my movies. Forget Pulp Fiction. My tombstone is gonna say Project Runway. Aw, uh, you don't gotta worry anymore, Harvey. It's not gonna say Project Runway. <laughs> It's gonna say double XL unmarked grave. Sorry. Yeah. I I actually have a I have a quick story as well. Uh, this is also true. It's about uh, about Brett Ratner who also went down this year. I worked with him on a pilot about nine years ago. Now, for those of you who've had the pleasure of meeting Brett Ratner. You might know that he's constantly scratching his balls. Now, one day on set, he was really going to town on his sad sack, and this was below his Banana Republic boxer briefs, which were kind of curling at the waist. Well, we watched him walk away and walk over to the craft services table, where he then touched six different donuts. And then he grabbed one and walked away. So I'm thinking, if that's the way the guy treats donuts. Now, people keep asking, can you separate the art from the man? Like, with Kevin Spacey, can we still love K-Pax? <laughs> and, and what about Woody Allen and his last 20 unwatchable movies? Mm. And can I still not watch them? Or must I reevaluate based on these new allegations that were a matter of public record 30 years ago? Yeah. Now, while it has been a difficult year, it has been a renaissance for men making apologies. The male apology has become an art form. Mm -hmm. Some of them were bad. Louis C.K. said in his that the women admired him three times. 
Whoa. That's like if a guy shit his pants and to fix the problem, he put on cufflinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then there was Kevin Spacey. I don't remember doing this, but I know I was drunk when I did it. Also, in a Kaiser Soze-like twist, I'm coming out of the closet. So to sum it up, I'm... So to sum it up, I'm connecting being gay with assaulting a minor. And now to let the congratulation notes roll in. Then guys started using the phrase, like many men, dot, dot, dot. You know, like many men, I'm only now learning that women don't like it when you run at them fully erect with hate in your eyes. <laughs> this is new to me, I'm yes. here to listen. Yeah. Finally, we reach the auteur period of apologies, culminating in Mario Batali's famous words, yeah, that sounds like me, I bet I did that. <laughs> By the way, Paisano's pizza dough cinnamon rolls are a cinch to make. Mamma mia, that's a spicy apology. Enough on all of that. Let's talk about lighter fare. Look, we have a few dear friends in the audience who are nominated. Kumail and Emily, uh, oh. Jordan, Peel. Yes. Kumail Nanjiani and Emily Gordon, Congrats, there you are. Guys. Congrats, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. There he is. He's Congratulations. All right, good. Hey, guys, great. Great. And how about all the documentaries? All right, but back to Jordan <laughs> Peele. Jordan, I gotta say, man, I loved Get Out, but I gotta be honest, it kind of ruined being white for me. Pretty bummed out about it now. It's like Lady Bird, Black Panther. It's like women, people of color, what have you left for us white males? Everything? We still basically control everything? And all right. I, and, and, I'm sorry, buddy, I stepped on your last word. Oh, buddy, we're friends for life. Let's do it. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, bro. How about call me by your name, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Starring the incredible Timothy Chalamet. Hey, Nick, yeah, give it up for him. Give it up for Timothy Chalamet, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Nick, you know who's like in love with Timothy Chalamet? Who? My wife. And it hurts my feelings. <laughs> I love your name, by the way, Timothy Chalamet. I want to hear RuPaul say, Chalamet, you stay. DuVernay, sashay away. <laughs> Timothy, uh, by the way, thanks for taking a break from the gas station to come over here to the awards. <laughs> now, Unfortunately, Army Hammer can't be here today, which is probably better because we'd all be staring at him since he's such a goddamn hunk. Uh, I will say this though, Army Hammer is so handsome, he makes John Hamm like his name should be Tony Baloney. <laughs> Call me by your name, more like fuck me by act two. Bam. Just fuck already, guys. <laughs> and John, how about Lady Bird? This is a fun fact. Yes, yeah. give it up for Lady Bird. Lady Bird. There we go. Uh, fun fact, Lady Bird is also what Tommy Wiseau calls swans. <laughs> oh, hey, Lady Bird, how's your morning? Okay, good night. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Lady Bird was written and directed by the incredible Greta Gerwig. Yes, Greta. And it stars the wickedly talented Sour Shoes Ronan. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> now, Nick, you know what movie I love? Father of the Bride on TNT? Absolutely. But one movie I loved this year was I, Tanya. I, oh. Tanya! Now, I hear they're making a sequel to I, Tanya. Really? It's called I, Nancy. It's about a nice lady who gets her knee bashed in by some trailer park assassin, and then 25 years later has to see a great award-winning movie about how she's not the victim. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're kidding, we don't care that much about Nancy Kerrigan. We don't give a shit about her. There are so many great <laughs> movies nominated, like Menasha, which tells the story of a Hasidic man. Yes, yes. give it up for Menasha. There you go, boys. Menasha tells the story of a Hasidic man trying to win custody of his child in New York's Orthodox Jewish community. Oh man, can you imagine the sandwich budget on that movie? I bet half of it was spent on coleslaw. <laughs> Menasha makes, the cast of Menasha makes me look like Army Hammer. <laughs> uh, sincerely from the both of us, 
Thank you to all of you in this room for making such great movies this year. For real. It was, yeah, it was a, give it up for yourselves. There's so many good ones. Yeah. Space them out next time. Mm -hmm. We really needed them. This is a very weird time in our country. It was. And we'll admit, guys, there are times that we wish the election had gone the other way. When things are this weird in the, in the country, people come up to us as comedians and they go, man, you can't write this stuff. No way. Uh, yeah, you could, but you wouldn't want to and no one would want to see it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm writing a movie. It's about a demented game show host who takes over the United States. You want to see it? Oh, also, it has no ending. <laughs> but folks, this show has an ending and it's in two and a half hours. You ready to get started? Yeah, Gangnam Style. Gangnam style. Cool.